In a certain amount of the year, there will be a bus service update, meaning either new bus service or amendments or even withdrawal. DMU will bring the news to you virtually. Want to know more about this month's news on our public buses? This is what to expect. Welcome to the first video of 2024. This year, there will be many surprises in the bus industry of Singapore and the TIB 12340 YouTube channel. Stay tuned and subscribe to our channel as we have much exciting content to showcase. Stay with us till the end of this video to know the upcoming highlights of our content in 2024. In this month's episode What to Expect Year 2024 Preview, the will be new insights on what's going to happen with Singapore public bus industry. This year, the Scanner KUBU for Batch 1 will be returned from the Revenue Service. The second batch of Scanner KUBU for Batch 1 will be returned from the 4th quarter this year. After 17 years of running on our roads, the U4 Batch 1 will retire from Revenue Service. These buses were the first single deck with accessible bus. Do snap them before they disappear. Meanwhile, 360 electric buses will roll out to public revenue service in the east, northeast, and northwest part of Singapore by the end of this year. The Zonto N12 and BYDB 12A will deploy first in Sengkang and Haugang followed by Chosukang and Bukit Panjang and Tampines and Bedok from 2nd quarter 2025. These 360 electric buses are the second production batch purchase after 60 electric buses that debuted during the pandemic. SBS Transit and SMRT buses will operate these buses. These 60 electric buses will be an option to purchase if necessary. To the fans of SMRT buses, get ready for September as the new phase of the Jurong West region. First announced by the LTA last year that SMRT buses will be operating bus services in Jurong West, Jurong Industrial Estate, Tuas, and the NTU. It will be SMRT buses first in the region under the bus contracting model and be the majority bus operated in the far west of Singapore. From the end of next month onwards, we will witness the one-to-one -one exchange of bus fleets between Jurong West and other SBS Transit regions before the pt 218 b tender. DLT has yet to announce the handover date. Speaking of the tender, we expect to hear about the winner of the Seleta region under the second term. As of today, the BD tender is still open and the LT will announce the winner of Seleta second term tender by the end of third quarter 2024. Meanwhile, DLT will announce the first term of opening tender in Sikang West and East Coast with Petok later this year. Talking about the new things, we also expect new bus services to be introduced in 2024. The planned bus services in the making are a new field service for Pongo Interchange and Loop at Pongo Coast via Pongo Digital District, operated by Kohei Singapore, Tengah Boulevard and Loop at Bukit Gomba, operated by Tower Transit, and the new Tepanese North Bus Route, operated by SBS Transit, to be announced. The new bus service will launch from the new BTO towns in Singapore. The planning stage of the bus operators to run the new bus services and the bus routes will be finalized and subject to changes. There will be three new bus interchanges to be opened this year. Tengah Boulevard, Bangkok ITH and Bidadari ITH will be opened later this year. DLT will amend existing bus routes to Bangkok ITH and Bidadari ITH and new bus service will be introduced in Tengah as mentioned in the earlier part of this video. Two ITH were supposed to open last month but were delayed. Therefore, the latest completion of the new bus interchanges will be open before the second half of 2024. The potential bus services are still under planning and subject to changes. More than 600 buses will be refurbished as part of LTA's effort and will roll out to revenue service later this year. Not only that, non-BCM assets like SMRT buses MAN822 and SBS Transit's Volvo Penalty L Ride and Scanner KB05 are still ongoing in the refurbishment process. Meanwhile, three more LRT buses will be debuting to revenue service later this year. DLT will allocate like Switch, Scania E Bus or Scania Fencer, and BYDB 12A to the suitable bus operator soon. For our YouTube content, there will be a special team before the PT21AB, Jurong West to SMRT buses. 
Look out for these dates when the MU release this special content. Do subscribe to our channel for more Singapore and Puppy Bus content. Follow us on Instagram at gallery underscore of underscore TIB12340 and join us on our Discord server. The link is in the description below.